Our team went back with another Squid Game review episode 4 of Stick season 1. Stick to the team! Stick to the team! But then, and then, and then, and then. We finished last episode with the game getting a wee bit smaller, everyone pushing out their wee shapes, and now we, we kick off with. Episode 4, player 111, who is um, later to be known as a disgraced doctor. Uh, he is led down a secret path away from the other players and it turns out that he is helping a couple of uh, Rogue. dodgy players a dodgy well, not staff. players dodgy staff members he's helping them harvest organs from the dead players the eliminated players so they can sell on the black market and in return for this they give him information on the upcoming games now the there's a couple of people coming down to collect the organs only one staff member turns up the question where the other one is and the other one isn't there because he's dead because the detective has already thrown his body into the ocean so he will not be collecting any dead organs the guy complains that he cannot uh, he cannot make the trip underwater on his own but player 111 isn't interested in this he just wants to know what the next game is and then he's given his information and that game Turns it to be tug of war. Tug of fucking war, guys. And uh, we can't wait for a wee bit of tug of war, can't we not? No. Back in the back in the warehouse, though, uh, they're all giving out food. Duxu and his gang cut in line to get extra bits of food. That there, there wasn't much food to be fair. It was an it was egg like, and a bottle of beer. Yeah, an egg and a bottle of beer. Um, obviously it wasn't a lot, so when Duxu ate his egg, he figured, you know what, I'm going to go and get another egg and another bottle of beer. Uh, which meant five players missed out on getting their food. So one of the players was accusing Duxu, well I say accusing, he was right to accuse because they did steal the extra food. It was a woman. Um, Duxu... You missed gender in there. Alright, alright, she, no, no. No, it wasn't. She the plate. She, yeah, she tied it, and then the guy was I, like, "Ah, he's a he took all our food. Um, like, what do you need food for, you scrawny bastard?" They ended up having a bit of a scrap. Well, not a scrap, more like a tug tussle. And then Doctor uh, kicked his fucking. The, the, beat, the beer smashed. He wasn't happy about that, and he, he beat the shit out of him. I mean, it wasn't even that much. Yeah, beat down to be fair, but he killed him. Yeah, yeah, this is a really job or death, I think. I mean, he they barely touched him. At this stage, Chu Sung Wu checks on him. He's dead. And Si Jung Hong is, uh, or Si Ji, Sung Ji. Sung Ji. Sung Ji is like, uh, he killed this man. Help us. Bring somebody in. I mean, realistically, do you, do you think the, these people care about one person dying when they've just eliminated hundreds? Yeah, like, they, they, they literally just shoot them for no fucking reason. I highly doubt they're going to come in and fucking end the entire game. Oh, I mean, there's a man that's died I, here. I don't like the main character. He's very bipolar. He's just fucking one minute he's very serious, next minute he's a goofball. I don't know. It's, it's almost like he doesn't know what, what he's going for. Um, yep, yeah, so... Then it is implied that there was less food given, so they would start fighting, and one of the head staff members says there will be an extra game taking place tonight and uh, they get the, they get all the other staff ready stand outside with their machine guns after light after lights go out there's a big brawl a few people are eliminated 27 to be exact fuck it seems like more yeah it did seem like more but i guess people were getting stabbed not murdered now duck sue uh, stabs the woman that touted on him in the neck uh, it was a big brawl. He, he tries to attack Kang Si, and then she formed an alliance with the the good guys, the Job Squad, uh, the Job Squad, the pathetic <laughs> bastards. Whatever you want to call them. And well, they, he did his law degree. And they managed to hotel, fend, man. They managed to fend them off until Player One is basically screaming crying and, and begging it for it to stop. Oh, don't do this. No, no, no. No, Mikey, this wasn't right. <laughs> no, Mikey, you have to reinstate the night before. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as soon as he asked for it to stop, the, 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 what do you call the guy that runs the game? The game master? Uh, the, the guy with the black mask. Uh, the black mask. The big man. Yeah, can you not get done for blackface? I know what's he doing. That's not right. The head, get the, back the, in the kitchen, you stupid woke fuck. The, the game master sends in the, 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 the fucking... The young team. The staff, and they start shooting about, and that's everything done. Uh, turns out Doksu 
was um was stabbed. So the corrupt doctor he patches him up, patches him up, and, and wants to join his gang. And you need a your family, yeah. And uh, he's like, "Why should we let you in?" And he says, "I know the next game." So yeah, that's him pretty much into that team. And, and then when they go in to play the next game, ah, the next game tug of war. That's not for a wee bit yet. The, the, what, what else is going on? The police officer guy, he's doing something, man. He right. does. Don't know what he wasn't really in this episode, does he? No, well, he, he was. He, he was on his phone. He was writing more sticky notes, and then the guy was doing Morse code number twenty nine. And then when he got out, the guy coughed at him. So obviously he's like, well, fuck. Him. The guy I killed was connected. Obviously he was. He was the guy in the whole facility maneuver, pat in the back maneuver, hang long overboard. Good night. But yes, into well, Duck Sue and the old woman have sex in the toilets, and she says, "What's her name?" I don't know. Uh, old woman. Who are you calling old woman? Who are you calling grandma, bitch? Who are you calling grandma, bitch? Ah. Um, she says she if, he, if he screws her over, she'll kill him. And then they get into the next round and just to pick teams of ten. And he essentially screws her over because the doctor has told him it will be tug of war. And he decides to recruit a full team of ten men. of men. And I mean, could you see, see, see if this was an American show? They, they, would, they would have you believe that, oh, you're, you, we can win with diversity, fucking five men and five women in the team. And it's... Not even five men, five transgenders that used to be women. <laughs> yeah, man, we're going to overpower them. But I mean, that's what, I mean, I've noticed the Koreans just don't give a shit about that and being woke. I mean, how many times have they said, oh, women in the kitchen? Number and... one talking about his, his what... wife used to be in the kitchen. That's where she belonged and she made me my dinner. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> even uh, Chu Sang. Uh, from the get go, he's like, "We need to find men. We've already got one woman and an old guy." I mean, and then they end up finding more women, <laughs> much to his disgust. Yeah, he's not happy about it, and then, but it turns out there's like only a minute left, and don't have any time to uh, to find anyone else. We've only got 19 members though, and then Grandma decides to plant her ass down in the group, and before they could even say no to her, the time runs out. They have to go, and it's the, their team has been basically decided. So. Doesn't look good for them to be fair. We get we get led into the um, the big room, the arena, the tug of war arena. Num team number one, which is Duke Sue's team, they go up against team number seven, I believe. Yes, and, and they um, lay the smack down, killed them pretty easily. Yeah, the the guy that was in front of team <laughs> seven. Ah, he he looked no bad, but then he, then he ended up getting. I mean, you can only you're only as good as your team in this game. And his team was pish. Yeah, so like, I mean... They got... They, they did no bad at the start, but then quickly the other team went... Ah, would it matter it. if Mark Henry was at the front of the line? <laughs> if he'd nine... Well, it would, matter, it would matter a wee bit, like... <laughs> I know, but would it matter if Mark Henry... I, d I don't think Do Song would have been fucking... Oh, look at that guy I'm facing. Beat him up, break his neck, break his neck. <laughs> You're a fucking... But what would you rather? Would you rather Duck Song's team or a team with, like, nine women and Mark Henry? I think Doc Sue's team, or do you think Mark Henry can overcome? <laughs> Hold on, ten Brock Lesnar's or one Mark Henry and nine Emanuels? Ten Brock Lesnar's? What the fuck is this? You try, you try to compare that team to ten Brock Lesnar's? Well, it's, strongest man. It's ten fucking New Japan Pro Jobbers. It's fucking small strongest man. I but ten Brock Lesnar's. He's a fucking UFC fighter. He's got good strength. I got him fucking T. Mark Henry won against us two would fucking destroy us. But it's a tug of war? No, I, I mean, a, a game of tug of war. Well, no shit. <laughs> but it's one on two, not one on fucking ten. So you think if it was five of me and five of you, we'd beat Mark Henry? Potentially. I'm not convinced. Ten on one. <laughs> Aye, no, I ain't, you're under it. Nah. <laughs> um, anyway, the, 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 the team, the, the front guy in Team 7 may have looked no bad, but the the, everyone behind him was fucking shit. <laughs> Uh, and as soon as he kind of fell, it was, it was it was all she wrote. Then they get pulled off the edge of the cliff. This big hanging like slicing machine blade blade comes down, cuts Les the rope, Leslie snipes, and they just all fall to their death. They all it's a big it's a big fucking drop as well. It's about a hundred feet, and like there's oh there's just blood everywhere. And then the, the wee coffins come out and They're like one mile and. <laughs> and Look um, at the coffins. <laughs> I noticed one of the coffins got marked in blood. I, I don't know if that was symbolising something or. Yeah, it was one of the organ bodies. Right. Is that because that person was still alive then? 
think so. Yeah, he was like, yeah, well, last live, so. Did he was like, uh, That must be what it was then. Um, I know they didn't even kill him. Then put him in his misery. Oh, mm, for fuck's sake. Guys flop my boot like a fish. Then the next teams to get picked are Team 4 and Team 5, which is our man's team, Song Ji, and they're taking on a team full of men. Uh, team's pretty sceptical, but the old man hypes them up. Oh, we can we can use our It doesn't tactics. matter about strength. It's all about teamwork and strategy. Yeah, it doesn't matter because I am in charge of these games. Oh, brother, test of It fly. doesn't matter if I'm 65 years old and smell a piss. <laughs> it's oh, all about... Hopefully the smell of piss knocks the other team off the edge, you know? <laughs> 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 Do I remember that was a cliffhanger? <laughs> I'm just going to um, Take three steps and the old guy shits himself. Oh, the step one, put your head back so far you reach the other person's crotch. <laughs> and then you smell their piss and it knocks you out and you lose. Yeah. And you don't feel it when you fall to your death. <laughs> like, um, like basically, he comes up with some plan. First ten seconds, you don't move. You just lean back. You sniff the other person's crotch. <laughs> Um, and then the, the rest of the, the, the opponents waste all their energy in the first 10 minutes first 10 seconds sorry and then you pull and you pull and apparently that beats the team well we see this game plan play out and it actually almost worked because they did lean back the other team was pulling the other team was wasting their energy it wasn't really getting them anywhere and then our team start pulling and they're winning and they're winning but then eventually the strength game does uh you know come into play and you can see our team getting pulled back they're getting pulled back it's almost back in the middle we're back level and they've already used their game plan and then chung shang the uh the whiz kid the guy that knows fucking everything as long as we're not talking about investments decides Ooh. to put all he says we shouldn't put all our eggs into their one basket but then he comes up with a plan to put all our eggs into the one basket right here he says we need to take three steps forward we take three step forward, fade the black. One step forward, two steps back. These kind of squid games can't end like that. <laughs> but that's how it ended. So there we go, cliffhanger. They took three steps forward. Will the other team make a mistake or will our team just all fucking take three steps off the edge of the cliff? I don't Who know. Knows? I'm going to give it an episode. I'm going to give it an eight. I thought it was... Uh, I'll give it a seven and a half. I thought it was um, probably my favourite episode so far. All right. Um, I, I would have kind of preferred this game just to finish though but I get it cliffhangers are cool aye so 7.75 7 out of 10 that brings the average rating of this show up to 27 out of 40 so far so until episode 5 let us know what you thought down below and uh, who's your favourite character at this stage is it the old man that smells a pish or well, is it a tier list at the end tell you what the old man never really describes his debt no. I know he hasn't got any link, but... Oh, spoiler. But, uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> pretty much the only guy that doesn't need that. That's just reading like pish. Alright. Anyway, guys, that's <laughs> it. Tell him. Peace. Go fuck yourself, old man.